Let's have a look at a few more quadratic equations. If you have a look at this one, x squared minus 3x minus 4 is equal to negative 6, I'm going to show you, firstly, a mistake that many people make. So, the mistake that many people make is to simply plunge straight into factorising. And so they will say, OK, here we go. We've got this one factorises very nicely into x minus 4. x plus 1 is equal to negative 6. And then they go ahead and say, well, x minus 4 is negative 6 or x plus 1 is equal to negative 6. But there's a big, big problem here. Because just because two things multiply together to give you negative 6 doesn't mean that one of them is negative 6. Because, for example, it could be negative 3 multiplied by 2, which gives you negative 6. Or negative 2 multiplied by 3, which gives you negative 6. There's nothing that tells you that one of these things here has to be negative 6. It only works if you've got equal to 0 on the right. So we've got rid of that mistake and let's just go through this now in the correct way. The correct way is when you're faced with a quadratic, the first thing you've always got to do is make sure you've got equals to 0 on the right hand side. And luckily that's not difficult. We know how to do that. All right. To get rid of that negative 6 on the right-hand side, we're going to add 6. And so what we're going to have here then is x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. Now we're in the situation where we've got equals 0 on the right and we can go ahead and factorize. And so here we will factorize into x minus 2, x minus 1 equals 0. And so then we'll get x minus 2 is 0 or x minus 1 is 0. And this is fine, because if two things multiplied together give you 0, then it is true that one of them must be 0. 0 is special in that way. And so we will get our answer, that x, our solution to the equation, that x is 2 or x is 1. OK, a quick couple more examples. And with our rule written very boldly at the top, the first step with quadratic equations is you must make sure that you've got equal to 0 before continuing. So I see the x squared. That gives me a clue that it's likely to be a quadratic equation. And I look and I see I don't have equals to 0 on the right. So I go ahead and make sure that that is what I do have. So I just rearrange. Now I just need to factorize this. And I'm going to get that it is an 8 and a 2, negative 8 and 2, to get together to give me negative 16. I'm going fast over the factorizing here. If you are not sure how to factorize, if you've forgotten, you need to go back and have a look at the factorizing videos and, and make sure you get on top of those, right? I'm assuming you know how to factorize when I'm doing these. And so we get that x minus 8 is 0, or x plus 2 is 0. And that's very easy to get to our solution, x is minus 2, or x is 8. OK, here's another one. Solve for x, x squared is 9. Very tempting to just say, oh, well, I know if x squared is 9, then x must be 3. Right? So it's very tempting to just give the answer straight away and say, oh, but I know here the answer is x is 3. Let me just show you something and you'll see why this is a little bit hasty. OK. I see an x squared. It gives me an indication I'm dealing with a quadratic equation. So I get, first step in quadratics, get equal to 0 on the right. So that's precisely what I do here. Now I factorize, and because I've got x squared minus 9, I recognize that pretty immediately as a difference of 2 squares. So I write that as x minus 3x plus 3. And so I get x minus 3 is 0, or x plus 3 is 0. And that gives me x is 3, or x is negative 3. And do you see here 
In our getting jumping straight to x is 3, we forgot the option that x could also be negative 3. Because negative 3 times negative 3 also gives me 9. So in fact, it's probably safer to do it this way, even though it looks longer, because you won't forget the negative answer. All right. So the main point that we wanted to make in this video was the fact is that when we're solving quadratic equations, step one is to make sure you've got equals to zero on the right.